How to shoot an arrow through a woman. This is David Xanthor, Wonder Man, Spell Lord, and Magic Pouch. When we last caught up with him, he was trading tricks for fame with lads on the street. But somehow, David's landed an expensive West End show called Monsieur de Rev, which roughly translates as Man of Dreams. Looks like all that exposure has finally paid off. We met up with David in his final dress rehearsal for one of his most spellbinding illusions, shooting an arrow through a woman. To our knowledge, no one has ever pulled this off, not even Robin Hood. It's a seriously dangerous illusion that has killed hundreds of magicians and audience members alike. Some people call it the cursed illusion. To authenticate this performance, the lights, costume and synthetic audience will all be in place. By performing this illusion, and telling us how it's done, David is going to make his mark in magic history and change the world forever. So, the lights are set, David's in position, and that's a nod from the theatre manager to say the illusion's a go. Step 1. The Illusion Out of the blackness, beautiful lights puncture the scene. But where is the magician? Oh, here he is making a true magician's entrance out of the earth. What now? A set appears. Xanthor does some voguing to work the crowd into a frenzy. The magician plays around on the hay bales to show that they are real. Now he shows us the target to demonstrate how dangerous it is. It too is real. Bullseye. Roxy Valentine arrives, David's glamorous assistant. Suspicions abound as whether Roxy and David are a real couple like Torben and Dee, or a fake one like Richard and Judy. Either way, they put on a great show. He walks her over to the target and places her under a trance so the arrow can pass harmlessly through her body. Here comes a stagehand to give Xanthor his equipment. David takes an arrow and proves that it is real. Roxy doesn't flinch. He ties a ribbon to the arrow so that you can see the path of its flight and to prove that it goes through Roxy. He pushes the arrow into the gun. It's a tight fit. Deadly. Now the gun is loaded. From here on in, the danger is real. Xanthor takes the gun and mentally prepares it. Everybody's tense. One false move could end in certain death. Xanthor makes his final checks. The tension in the theatre is palpable. That's incredible! It's gone right through her! Let's see that again! Incredible! It went right through her! Xanthor throws down his gun. The illusion of success. He snaps Roxy out of her trance and walks her to the front of the stage. The synthetic audience is going crazy. Take a bow, guys. You've earned it. That's touching. Well done, guys. Step 2. How it's done. Despite recent uproar from elements of the magic community, David's decided to reveal the best trick in his show. Is he mad? Or is he just dedicated to the truth? Let's find out. The secret to this trick is that the arrow never leaves the gun. It just appears to, 
by magic. Let's take you through it step by step. Step 3. The gun. The gun itself is fake. See? No bang bang. The explosion you saw was real, but it was triggered by this man, Watson. He's in charge of the pyrotechnics, and what we call in the industry, a pyromaniac. He looks after this, a control box, or detonator, which is connected to the gun via some cables which run along the stage floor, up David's leg, down his sleeve, and along the gun barrel, to this, an explosive charge. When Watson presses this button, the explosion goes off as fast as magic. Step 4. The arrow. The arrow is real, and so is the ribbon. But as we said, the arrow never leaves the gun. But you saw it fly across the stage, right? Wrong. What you actually saw was the ribbon shooting across the stage. The arrow never left the gun. How? The ribbon is only loosely tied around the arrow so that it will slip off when the gun is fired. Unbeknown to the audience, the ribbon is also attached to some fishing line which runs slack across the length of the stage, up into Roxy's corset and into the bullseye. I know what you're thinking. How does the fishing wire run through Roxy? And how's David funding all of this? Step 5. Roxy's Corset One of the things concealed in Roxy's corset is some hollow copper piping. This is a conduit allowing the fishing line and ribbon to run through her without causing her death. See, she can pull the ribbon on either side. So when the gun fires, the fishing wire moves across the stage, through Roxy and through the target, pulling the ribbon along with it. Suck on that, William Tell. Step 6. The target. But wait, if that arrow never left the gun, where did the arrow and the target come from? The answer is Naomi, who was lurking behind the target all along. As the gun is fired, crafty Naomi shoves a decoy arrow through a second hole and wobbles it, giving the impression that the arrow has struck home. Bullseye! Okay, so that all makes sense, unless you're a total thicko. But if the gun never fires, how does the whole thing move? Well, now we come to it. Step 7. Physics 101. As you already know, the ribbon is loose, tied to a fishing line which runs across the stage, up into the corset, through a copper pipe, through the target, and out past Naomi. What we didn't tell you is that from here it runs off into the wings, where it meets a pulley system that takes it into the rig. Here it's attached to a sandbag, which is being held in place by this man, Flusky. When Watson detonates the pyrotechnic, Flusky drops the sandbag onto the floor. As the sandbag drops, it pulls the fishing line with it. This pulls the ribbon out of the gun, across the stage, through the pipe, through the target, and the illusion is complete. And that's how you shoot an arrow through a woman. Thanks, David. That was a real spectacle and a half. You know, exposing all these magic tricks is a real service to the people. It's bound to get you into the magic circle one of these days. I hope it all goes well on the big night, and that none of your paying audience have already seen this film.